So first things first, I want you to take us through the first moment you knew you were onto something with Bleacher Report. Uh, yeah, so we, I started Bleacher Report uh, in 2005, and uh, it started as a project with a couple buddies of mine. We were sports fans. We read everything we could online about our teams, and we watched ESPN our whole lives growing up, and we just felt – that we could do something better, that we could put something out there uh, that that didn't exist, that that spoke to to young uh, obsessed fans like us. And the, the initial idea was, hey, we love sports, and we're going to just start our own sports site, and we'll start blogging and writing about it. And then we we kind of tweaked that idea to think about it as a place where any obsessed fan could come and have their voice heard. And that was, that was the first version of Bleacher Report. It was a platform by fans for fans. And that was a big leap. But the, the, the part that really got me thinking that it could be something was when we started having all sorts of people from all over the country, all over the world, starting to come to Bleacher Report and, write about sports and, and be a part of the community. And it, it was, you know, we, this was the vision, but we didn't know if it would actually happen. Uh, and we did all sorts of uh, interesting things at the time to, to get the word out, but actually seeing people come and join and who we never knew, we, we've never heard of before, join in, start to share things and start to publish, seeing interesting things. Uh, was pretty eye-opening uh, and really got me thinking that this could turn into something. Was there a specific moment, though, in all that where you're like, oh, my God, this is crazy. Like, I never envisioned this happening. It was it was gradual. It was gradual. Yeah. It, it was one of those things where you start out with a certain idea of how something can go. And we thought it was – our vision was pretty big. And we got to that point, and then we said, oh, no, we can make this even bigger. And and we kept just pushing the goalposts out of what, what it could be. Uh, I remember the first time I saw just someone reading Bleacher Report on their phone, or I think it was on a laptop. I was on a, I was on a plane, and someone was sitting in a row in front of me or something like that. And I saw saw them typing. Maybe they had their email up, and then they open up another tab, and they had Bleacher Report. And that was that was another thing. It was like, wow, there's I mean, we had millions of people reading the site at the time, but but still, you you just see see it randomly out there, and and that was a whole different thing. Uh, so th- there were all sorts of moments like this along the way, and, and yeah, that there's another aspect to it of that gradual uh, approach is a lot of people when Bleacher finally like really blew up would say things like, Oh, Bleacher, you came out of nowhere (laughs) overnight success. And we were building on it for years and years. A lot of those times in obscurity, but we were seeing these moments of potential and, and just building that belief that eventually it would blow up. So every overnight success has that long backstory of the, the years of effort that it takes to get to that point. Yeah, I love your tweet, which was about year one, zero dollars in revenue, year two, 80,000, year three, 900,000, year four, 4.8 million, year five, 14 million, year six, 31 million. And it just goes to show like the 31 million might just come overnight to some people's eyes, but the zero to 31 was a journey. And I think that gets lost a lot of the times. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A lot of a lot of work, a lot of experimentation, a lot of wrong moves, and it could have gone could have gone differently. Luck luck always plays a role. It's 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 one part luck, it's one part effort, it's 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 one part vision and strategy, and and you have to have it's it's a big part of it's the team. You have to have all these things playing together uh, to to have a shot. 